This is the CMT trade fair in Stuttgart, Germany. This is the last day, the, uh, Sunday, the 20th of January 2019. I'm gonna have to go home now. And if uh, Cartago were to say to me, you can have any van you want in our stand or the Malibu stand, which one would you have? I'd take this one here, which is the Malibu Risermobile i441 LE. And uh, the reason I take it, oh, I'll, I'll probably actually take the semi integrated version, but anyway, um, it's 665 centimeters long, which is a very good size, in my opinion. Uh, 227 wide, 292, uh, 294 high. I like that. Um, absolute empty weight is 2790, so it's got plenty of. Uh, payload when they said ready to go is 2,975 I've never quite understood how that they work that out that's with some fuel some water and uh, wait for the driver integrated van as you can see from there there's some balloons on it because this year is the 40th anniversary of uh, Cartago which was founded in um, 1979 which incidentally also happens to be the year I started going to work. I joined the army then. Anyway, that apart, because it does make me feel somewhat old. We've got this enormous double floor st storeroom cellar, to use the other words they're using here in German. Now, for a cheap brand, purportedly, this is quite luxurious. As I mentioned the word cheap, it's 73,500 euros. So it's not really very cheap as such. Let's have a look at this features. I mean, come in here, the first thing you think of is space. It's got lots of space. Now, I, I usually can't see the point of this uh, extra chair here. And this is actually one of those usual times, other than to sit there when you take your shoes off, if it's uh, particularly in clement weather outside. Cabinets all the way around. Look at the extra storage space you've got. Extra space above you. You've got by getting rid of the bed um, up there. Fantastic uh, view, in my opinion. But. I haven't shown you what is the most original thing yet, and I'll get onto that as I walk around. Now, unusually for Malibu, they've put the kitchen on the opposite side, the, uh, the side where the door is. They normally don't do that. There's your television. Yeah, kitchen stand, there's nothing uh, unusual about that. Plenty of room in the drawers. Fridge here. I have seen the van before, but I'm just thinking if I was going to get an award for the best motorhome, or most original motorhome here, it might be this one. Don't mind you, I just go and see then the next one. I see, I think the same thing, but uh, I do really like this. Right, uh, okay, let's have a look at some of the hanging space under the bed. It's got a light. Not in that, from here you can actually see into the uh, garage. Don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. This is the step that comes forward. See, steps up to the bed, storage in the steps. Let's take this back again. This opens here, and not only does that open there, but also the 
this opens like that. It's an easy open as well. Very, very simple to do. That big cushion down there, that's the cushion that fills in the bed. I'd, I'd put it on top of the bed if it were the, the van were in use. And you get all that storage space for your um, shirts and things like that. And it's deep as well. The bed, there's your size. 200 by 195, so it's almost four square meters for a bed. Now, bear in mind the big garage you got out the back with 250 kilos of weight. That's looking pretty good, I would say. Right, this is the bathroom. And this has to be la pièce de résistance. Right. Take, that opens up like that. It's actually caught at the top on that magnetic thing up there, you see? So that, yeah, you can feel that. Let's pull that out. It's a bit of resistance. Not a lot, but a little bit. I think you might have heard the, the slight resistance there. You've got this enormous uh, bathroom toilet, changing room if you like, if you want, if you don't want to have, don't want to see yourself in the bath, you can put this down like this and the whole thing comes forward, like that, look at that, and you've got your plug holes down there. Now often it's the case, I think even in some very expensive vans, where you sort of had this changing room and you close that and I think it seems a bit claustrophobic. Now it may, perhaps that's being a little bit unfair to say claustrophobic because it is a small van. And this is a particularly small van, 665 centimetres in length. And it's got all of this space down there as a changing room so to speak. So you can put your dinner jacket on and your, your suit uh, after coming off the beach while your other guests are sitting in there in the swimming trunks, for example. It, it's brilliant. Uh, um, and add it to the other the other features of it. I think this is a it's a great idea. It's just something to think. That there's nothing new to be thought of in motorhomes. Well, well done, Cartago. That or oh, Malibu, I should say, or oh, whoever. <laughs> that is brilliant. Absolutely, now it's a wonderful little van. This one, little, little, six and a half, uh, six, 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 six hundred and sixty-five centimeters. It's a medium van. I show how it looks in the uh, semi-integrated version. Oh, and I'll show you the, uh, on the way back, I'll show you the other side. In fact, I'll do it now. There you go. Look at that. Look at the size of that double floor in there. Same one on this one, the semi-integrated gas cupboard. Okay, this door could be a little bit bigger, admittedly. It'd be nice if it were a very big one. But look at the space. Just a minor point here, and it's a cosmetic thing. I don't like it when so. I'd rather have it absolutely flat at the back. It's an extra 15 centimeters. Oh, and I was thinking this was semi-integrated. It's integrated. Sorry, I got that one wrong. <laughs> but I'll show you inside anyway. 73,500, it's the same one, made a mistake, never mind, I'm not going to edit that out, sometimes I edit my mistakes out. A 
like just now as the gimbal which has been playing up right so we've got here in this case has got a the spare bed over there but look at the spare bed does it take all that space up right and so you, you you're sort of stuck um uh for well first of all your head you could be banging your head and you just don't have the the, sp the space and the storage of the other one but the rest is the same so you can choose which would you rather have with that big bed up here losing that space or would you rather have it as the other one is Grace, eh? Lots of small vans here actually, I'm just pointing something out. These two vans, are the, they're, they're, they're the same except the one on the left is integrated and the one on the right is the semi-integrated. Hence my mistake from lack of observation earlier. Here we have a very good idea of what you can do. Somebody said to me yesterday, I want a van and put my motorbike in. Well, that would work. So really top class van there. I was planning on going down to Allendorf, uh, Allendorf, 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 where uh, Cartago were made. The weather's not particularly good. And also, uh, there's a trade fair on in Dresden next week, which is sort of on the way for me. So instead of, instead of going there, I think I'll go to Dresden. And uh, anyway, so that's what I'm doing. There we have this rather attractive van which I think really top marks for, particularly in this version here. Oh, we've got three skylights at the top as well, which I didn't mention. But, okay. can't, I can't, uh, can't mention always everything. 